Well, Zags fans, it's easy to not look ahead too far, and you shouldn't with the team that uh, we have this year, number one AP team in the country. Mm -hmm. However, there is a name to watch that was on national TV Thursday night, and that is the number one recruit uh, in next year's ESPN rankings. That's Chet Holmgren. He's looking at schools like North Carolina. He's looking at schools like Michigan, but he's actually taken a visit to the kennel and Gonzaga. Yeah, that's big. We talk about all the things, 2020 being a weird year, you know, not having fans in the stands and things like that. Chet Holmgren was actually able to come to Gonzaga for craziness last year where there were fans for Jalen Suggs' official visit. So that's a huge nod to Gonzaga. And I tell you what, man, there is a reason they have made him their priority recruit for this year. And we saw it on national television against Amoni Bates as well. Amoni Bates being the number one player in the 22 class also touted as the best high school prospect since LeBron. And we saw Chet Holmgren heard that chatter. He heard it and he was ready. Yeah, if you haven't watched any film on him, watch this game again, going against top level competition. How'd he do? Well, 31 points, 13 of 18 from the field. He was two of five from three, 12 rebounds and six blocks. This is a seven footer who, yes, he's amazing towards the rim. Yes, he may be one of the best shot blockers we've ever seen at the high school level. Mm -hmm. Yes, he can shoot from three. <laughs> oh, and this is a guy who, you know, crossed up Steph Curry last summer. Yeah, I am. Let's throw a little bit of point guard skills in that mix, man. I tell you what, you talk about high school prospects, and sometimes they have a very complete game. Sometimes, you know, they're missing pieces. Chet Holmgren's a unicorn out there. You just do not see the mix of skills that he has at his size. So, what we saw out of him Thursday night was just absolutely incredible. He didn't wait any more than 30 seconds to get involved in that game, and he was involved all all night, all night. He actually had Amoni Bates guarding him as well the entire time, and we saw Chet bringing the ball up for the majority of that game. We're talking a seven-footer being the preferred point guard on a top high school team, and we saw exactly why his coach believes in him. I tell you what, man, his handles, his ability to involve his teammates – and then just flat out take over when he needs to. It was a great night for Chet. Yeah, Jeff Goodman uh, tweeted after the game that he thinks that if either of these guys, Bates or Holmgren, were eligible for the NBA draft next week, either of them would be the number one overall pick. So, you know, settle down a little bit. Let's watch this year's team as they have high aspirations. But it's crazy to think that the future is just as bright here in Spokane.